Is the following function a power function, polynomial function, both, or neither? So first thing is, what's a power and polynomial function? Well, let's look at some complicated math notation. Why don't we? So here's a power function, okay? It says that the function, f of x, right, some function will be equal to now k, which is a constant, okay, or a coefficient you can think of it as, uh, which is basically a number, all right? multiplied by a variable raised to some other number, okay? So this is like a power, a numeric power. That's another number there, okay? A polynomial function uh, is also going to be very, very similar to a power function. It's a function that is now equal to any number of terms, it almost looks like, added together of like single power functions kind of, right? I mean, it might be a little weird to think about it that way, but that's kind of the idea. This k sub 1 represents some number, okay, some constant or some coefficient, multiplied then by a variable x raised to some other number, okay, some power here, which is a number. Now, it's then added to another term with a very, very similar, not very similar, but a very, basically an identical, um, uh, what's the right word? An identical what? Form. There we go. Wow. Okay, I need more coffee. Um, so this is now another constant. Um, this is a number. Okay, this will also represent a number, and that's a variable. Uh, and as you can see, this kind of pattern will continue on out, however many terms you might have. Now, a polynomial function can have one term. It can have two terms. It could have three terms. It could have four, any number, all right? So what we need to do now is look at the given function, and we have to try to identify if this is similar at all to any one of these, or both of them. Now you might look at this and you might say, well, I see my variable, I see the power here, but then, oh man, I see another power. So the answer is no, it's neither. That would be incorrect. And the reason why is because if you can do any type of math, all right, uh, any type of simplification on this, to get it to match one of these two, you must do that, okay, before you can come to a conclusion. So we know, though, that we basically have x squared raised to the third. In other, in other words, if I were to write this a little better, it would be something like this. Now, you know when you take an exponent and raise it to an exponent, you multiply those exponents. So it's basically x squared times then, let me not use the x up there, but let me use the dot, okay, times three. That product there would be six, right? Now, this is what you're looking at. So you have a variable, you have now a single exponent, a single constant up there. So that looks great, right? Now you might be saying, well, what about the K? I don't see the constant. Remember, you can always shove in a little one there in the beginning, right? So I can just move this over and I can shove a little one in there and that would represent that coefficient or the leading constant K. So this now matches perfectly, right, by adding the one I didn't really add it, you know, I added it to the term, but I didn't add it, you know, for this multiplied, right? Um, it doesn't, one times anything is just that anything. Uh, so I didn't really do anything in terms of the math, you know, change it. Okay, I got to stop this video um, because I'm starting to lose my mind. In any case, this matches a power function. And this actually also matches a polynomial function because it has at least one of those terms right? A polynomial, it's a little bit misleading because poly kind of means many, but a monomial, binomial, trinomial, they're all types of polynomial functions. So this is actually an example of both. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. Help us out by liking and subscribing, telling some of your friends, and maybe even considering a donation. That would be awesome. And uh, that would allow me to drink more coffee to help you out. Take care.